Alright guys, this is going to be the uh, first prestige solo for the week. So again, we're skipping with normal. But as I said last week, you should be triple dipping the nightfall. I, I'm not bothering because I'm nearly three eight five. So you start with a normal, right? You do the normal. You get a drop from the normal uh, nightfall chest. You also go to Zavala. You get your milestone from him. You then do prestige and you'll get another drop from the chest. You won't get two milestones for it, but you'll get an additional drop. So you can you can get a lot more rewards. Technically you're getting like three times, okay? So do that first. Uh, I usually start with the Titan, but because of buffs and things, I'm starting with the Warlock this week. As for my subclass, I'm using Void Walker, so we're using Vortex Grenade and Power and Rift. Burst Glide over Blink. Blink's a high skill thing, and I was just wanting to use Burst Glide. I, I quite like the Warlock Surfing anyway. Bottom Tree for survivability, Devour, and I like the Bottom Tree um, Nova as well. As for weapons, it's going to be Devil's Mananan loadout. I might do weird loadouts later on in the week, see what the time's like. But for now, we'll do Devil's Mananan and Curtain Call as our heavy. Both, I've made them both void, obviously to match my Void Walker and the fact we'll do this Nightfall as a void singe. So here's why we're starting on the Warlock and I was excited. The Lunar Faction Boots have had a buff, like I made a video about it, that now your weapon automatically reloads while you sit in your rift. So it's like a it's like a rally barricade, but you get a 30% damage boost if you rock and power and rift, and you don't have to crouch shoot. This is like amazing. This makes me want a main a warlock, right? This this is amazing, and I've got a good video showing you how powerful this is. It ain't on this one. Uh, I don't know which one I'm going to post first, but I need to post them both. But this, uh, so yeah, Lunar Faction Boots, I'm using those, seeing what they're like. Masterwork Armor, for the increased damage resistance, it doesn't really matter, to be honest, just any armor. For the Nightfall card, Void Singe, heavy weight, so that we get a increased damage boost on our heavy weapons, and... There's more ammo available, like it says. We're also going to use Momentum, which I'll get into why I'm using that. I know it's classed as a negative, right? it's red, but it can be a positive for certain Nightfalls. That's the subclass, the weapons, and everything. So with this one, you, um, I'll start first of all, you can skip all of this, okay? You see so many people, oh look, I've got to kill these turrets. Okay, you got to kill some turrets, but not those ones. So just run past all of this. We have Momentum Procum, which I do would strongly advise you put it on. Strongly advise. Unless you're in a fire team, then you don't need to. So I come to this uh, location here, take out both turrets. And head to the back of the map. You could need middle and kill the Vex goblins because they they required you need to kill those. But our first target is the Colossus. Okay. For me, I just like to take him first, and then I can work with everything else. So I will devour, empower, and rift. And here we go. So we get auto reloads. My, my Devils turns into a scout rifle if it wasn't already. I can literally 
luckily, unluckily, they, uh, I don't know, they pushed me too much because they was killing their Vex. So I could have naded those, made it a little quicker, but this isn't a speed run really, this is just getting the run done. I think the Titan will be a better class to speedrun this on, just because it's quicker, you know, so I don't know if I'm speedrunning it on the Warlock, to be honest, but I do, I do, I do love the uh, Lunar Factions, which you'll see coming up. So this is where momentum comes in, this is why we've picked it, because you, you're having to venture through the uh, Infinite Forest and everybody skips it. You're not required to kill any of the ads to open the portals. In the heroic adventures, you are. The portals are red. I don't know why that's not a mechanic in the nightfall. It should be. There should be. I think they're called demons, right? They should be in the nightfall. You should have to kill a major every other gate at least, at the minimum. It makes this nightfall uninteresting until the boss. I think. Which, with a lot of the other Nightfalls, you don't get that. It's only the Mercury ones where you get, oh, got to do these. I've seen some people will just upload the boss fight because everything else is uninteresting. Which I can understand. But, there's still tips. I mean, for example, you'll see me when I'm opening doors, I'm still running. Because you need momentum procced. And look at that, I was one shot. Momentum saved me. So don't just activate a door and stand at the door. Activate it while you're running and run around in a circle till the door opens. Don't go past the door as soon as possible because you'll die. Okay, I'll learn that. Plus, the infant forest, it's RNG. I mean, you'll either get a quick run out of it or a slow one. You know, it all depends on your luck with it. This particular forest wasn't the best, it was okay, it's okay, average. But the key here is keep running, don't stop. Only, like I stop once or twice, like like so here, I know I'm in, I'm in cover, right? So, that's fine, but other than that I'm always moving with the momentum. How to deal with this section, this is where you do, you are required to kill some cabal. I like to jump up this side, there's many ways to jump up. I'll, I love on the right side, mainly because I like to come behind this tree. So I proc Devour first, Empower and Rift for the damage gain, automatic reloads, and I've got my health gun. So I've got everything right now at this point. Plus, just behind this tree, it's pretty good. Try to kill that sniper on the left as soon as you can, the one I just killed. And same with the one on the right they do hit hard even though it's on void since and you can kind of now sit back and wait for the ads to jump up you can push that middle plate and it'll make the cabal jump up faster to get this door to open quicker generally take out all the snipers and it's a good couple of cabal I don't know the exact on it I have been told there's no RNG with it but I don't know just sit back like that. I mean, I had Devour going as well, so it's just a Devour chain on there. <laughs> this next section as well, um, it's the same again. You see people killing the ads on here. I mean, if you're going for score runs, that's fine, but if you just want to blow through it, you don't need to kill any of these, and it's so easy to get uh, through. All classes can make this jump. Wallach has the worst jump, and they can make it. Although the glide makes you go so far. But this is the, that's the jump there. The Hunter might be the hardest, actually. Looking at that. I have done it in all three. So I could have spawned my sparrow instantly there, but... I, I can tell you, two or three runs, those two Scions have screwed up. They've screwed me up. They double snipe you sometimes, uh, even if you'd mid, mid dodge like I did. So, I was like, I'm not having it again, so I just killed them that time. If your sparrow's on fire like that as well, don't risk it, just get off, because the harpies can, these harpies below can sometimes shoot you in the back, if you go down below. 
I need to avoid singe and they'll blow up your sparrow nearly instantly. You've got to watch those, those harpies. So never risk it. If, if your sparrow's on fire, pull, it, pull out another one. Momentum's amazing for this strip. In my runs from two or three months ago, I had a lot of trouble surviving this because you couldn't put your own modifiers back on there. Now you can. So momentum, get through here 95% of the time. Might be a rare occurrence where you don't, but just stay agile. Jump in the air, jump over the uh, cabal guys with the guys that push you back. I know what they're called. Just jump over those because they'll. If they push you back too far, you'll be in trouble and you might lose momentum. The likes of that, they push me into a little crevice. So you've got to watch them. But generally, you'll make it through. Once you do that, you can start killing Antony here now. You can stay where I am for so long, but the, there'll be Cabal outside that starts to shoot you in the back. So don't stay here too long. Remember, we've got momentum on. So momentum's great to get into the boss. But I don't think it's very good when you're at the boss. But we need it to reliably get to the boss safe every time. So, just gotta play around it. Now, this is important. I'm taking my time with this harpy because I need full health. Obviously, I'm not gonna get health regen. I, I want, like, full health for when this boss comes down. So, I'm just peeking in and out, taking my time with it. Now, you can kind of. Come, if you come to this exact location, the boss will try to push you back with his move, but he can't. So I do an Empower and Rift. As soon as he raises his arm, Grenade, Nova Bomb and Rockets. I think a rocket missed. So I was unlucky. I was unlucky with damage. Which I'm going to make a video about how, how to one-phase him. Which I've one-phased him. So. The thing is... One phase in this boss is silly, right, because, it's not silly, but it's silly that once you kill the boss in this room, the loot won't drop. So you have to go to the final room, you have to do the, this room, the second room. The boss isn't alive, of course, but you've got to kill all the mages, the minotaur mages. Nothing's required to be killed in here apart from the vex minotaur. Problem is, momentum's on and... If you haven't got rockets, it can be dicey sometimes. Just kill one at a, one ad at a time. And if you manage to get rockets, use one on the Vex Minute oh, just to speed things up. Like there was one there, look. And you can rocket him. So yeah, the Lunar Faction boots you see in there, I got all six rockets out same time you would with a barricade, roughly, and it was a 30% damage buff, so it's like amazing. Now I put in power rift here because I, I thought the boss was going to approach me, but because we done that much damage on the first phase, he skipped, he, he literally just went to the third floor, we didn't even see him. This room's a little safer than the first, you can literally come up here and take down the Minotaur but because I, I was a bit unsure whether three rockets I was unsure on how much soup, like how many rockets I needed with the boss being I think it was one bar or just above one bar I'm not sure 100% at the time so I actually used this room to build up my server because I was pretty, you know, 60-70% so I thought I'll have my Nova Bomb as a backup plan. Which I suggest you do that as well if you had the similar amount of damage output as me. To one phase him it has to be perfect. Like, the Nova Bomb has to be on the exact specific second, the grenade, everything needs to be dead on it all six rockets must hit him and you must not be like if you get knocked back or something out of your rift it's over you won't be able to one phase him solo of course not talking about fire teams a fire team will solo this boss no problem so at this minute i'm just waiting 
on my super. <coughs> so yeah, this was, like I said, this wasn't the fastest run in the world. This is shown, start with the basics. This is, this is how you do it, right? Uh, I'll do the Titan run, either the Titan or the Hunter next, I'm not sure where. But I'll, I'll cover all three, I'll make sure. Also notice I'm staying in this room, don't go through that archway, because if you do, it'll it'll cause the boss to be in a different position. Uh, which is important, we need him in a certain position. And he does affect it, because I've tested it. So, this has to be immediate, you kind of jump up here, and power a rift straight away, and do what you can with your rockets. And I had my Nova Bomb as a backup, which done it. So we didn't have to do with the third room at all. If you one phase the boss you don't, you literally just come here to the chest. And the, the game just says mission complete, which they, it's, I'm confused because Bungie said they were going to fix this ages ago, where the chest spawns in the first room if you one phase. I don't, I have no idea why. But anyways, that's the run on the wall. Hope you enjoy. Thank you.